Hey there, Kujo here, and before I get bombarded by a bunch of upset individuals, I'd like to let you all know that I used to be obese back in high school, and yes, I'm using the I used to be obese card, lay down in defense mode, so none of y'all can attack me. Well, I mean, you still can, but I don't care whether you do or don't. I understand the hardships that come with being obese, and I believe my opinion needs to be heard. Oh, <laughs> whoa, buddy, whoa. Eyes up here, come on. Now that we've gotten the elephant out of the room, let's move on. Body positivity is a social movement that supports the idea that all people should have a positive view on their bodies, no matter their size, along with accepting the bodies of others. From the outside, this sounds like a reasonable movement, doing a lot of good for people. But with all good things, there's always bad found within them. No, I'm not against the idea of loving your body for what it is, or body positivity as a whole. I believe that it's a very good thing, because there are a lot of people out there who are hard on themselves for not having the ideal or perfect body out there. This causes them to develop a very negative outlook on themselves. With the body positivity movement, we have people who are supporting it and encouraging it in a good way. But then we have these people who take it too far and start to abuse the movement to justify their laziness or to use it as an excuse for why they can't make the time to take care of themselves. What bothers me the most about the body positivity movement is that you get these excessively overweight or obese people advocating body positivity, saying that they love themselves and the body that they have. It just doesn't make sense. Think of it like this. If you have a dog, you take care of it. If you have a family, you take care of them. If you love something, you take care of it. So why is it that these people who are advocating about body positivity can't even take care of themselves, yet they say they love themselves? It's this hypocritical and delusional way of thinking that allows people to not care about their weight, allowing them to spiral into this unhealthy, self-destructive lifestyle. If you truly loved yourself, you would do your best to take care of yourself. It doesn't matter how many times you say you love yourself. What matters the most is how you show yourself love. And that can only be done by your actions, not by your words. You know, I wasn't the person I am today. I used to be over 300 pounds at the age of 16 years old. And I got the full 4D experience of being bullied in all shapes and forms. And in my darkest moments, I never sat down and thought to myself, Wow, I could really use body positivity. That's going to help me. No! No! I would sit down and think to myself, wow, I could really use a solution to my problems, in which I discovered exercising and eating healthy. I have absolutely garbage genetics. Obesity runs in my family, and at the time, I had an untreated thyroid problem. Though I had all of these holding me back, I still lost the weight and became who I am today. I never used them as excuses. It just meant I had to work harder. It's what changed my life. It's what gave me purpose when I had absolutely nothing. It gave me strength, confidence, self-discipline, time management skills, a positive mindset, and so much more. It made me a better person. But more importantly, it's what taught me how to love myself. I believe that in this world, everyone would benefit from living a healthy lifestyle, consisting of moderate exercise and eating foods that are just good for you. Nothing crazy here. Depending on your genetics and goals, what you eat and the way you train is going to be vastly different compared to the other person. And that's okay. We're all different. I just want to see a world where people are putting more effort into taking care of themselves and understand how important it is for them. In a vast and glorious world filled with incurable diseases, why is it that nobody could take responsibility for their weight issues? Obesity is considered a disease. Yes, I understand that it's hard to lose weight. I mean, I went through the struggles of doing it myself. But what you've got to realize is that you have a cure for your disease. While there are people out there suffering through cancer, they're given the option of going through chemotherapy, which doesn't even guarantee their survival. But they still do it, because it's their only way to fight. Their only chance to live. While people with obesity have a cure right in front of their faces, that isn't any form of a hidden secret that's hard to obtain, or a difficult riddle to decipher. Cancer patients had to diet and exercise to cure themselves, they would jump at it in seconds. They wouldn't even think about it. They would just go and grab the opportunity because it means they would be able to live. They take for granted the fact that they have a cure while many don't. The thing is that we should never ever make fun of these people for being overweight or obese. That's going to solve nothing. You're just pushing them away from doing anything about it. Talking to these people, 
understanding them, getting to know them, and trying to pull them out of this delusion that they've created for themselves, while supporting them to take that first step into becoming a healthier person. Ever thought that the reason why they've never done anything about their weight issues isn't just because they could be lazy? That they could be completely scared out of their minds about how much hard work it's going to take to get the results that they want. That they lack the courage to take that one first step. But what you have to realize is that we're all doing the hardest thing right now, all together. And that's living. If you can live, you can be better. It's as simple as that. It's okay to be moderately chubby. It's okay to not be the strongest. It's okay to not be able to run the furthest. All of our goals are different, and we'll be excelling in different things. Stop saying that you love yourself. Prove it, and start taking care of yourself. Showing your body that you love it, and want what's best for it. Because if you don't, who will? If you liked the video, then like it. And let me know in the comments down below if you agreed with my opinion. And if you didn't agree with my opinion, then let me know in the comments down below. I've got an open mind, and I'm willing to hear all of you out. And like always, subscribe for some of that more quality content. I'm Kujo, and I'll be seeing you guys next week. Peace!